This is the security camera that I textured in Substance Painter uh, last time, and I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, export the textures and get them set up uh, in Blender. All right, so as you can see, I've got these texture sets here, and they have UV tiles. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to export textures and here you can see what I would export. Now I've actually decided I'm not going to export the emissive. I'm going to just do the emission in Blender. It's just easier to do what I have. I seem to have more control anyhow. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to come over to my output templates and if I click on PBR metallic roughness you can see that I've got base color, roughness, metallic, normal, height and emissive. Uh, those are the usual ones that I would use. I'm actually going to click on pure metallic roughness opacity, and that adds opacity. I've got opacity here, which is a grayscale. And if your template doesn't have that, you just find it here, just drag it over and make sure that it's set to grayscale. Um, I'm not going to need the normal because my detail is in, uh, in height. So that's fine. We'll deal with that later. So I'm going to use this metallic roughness opacity. So I'm going to make sure that that's selected here. I'm going to use PNG, 8 bits is fine for me, and choose an output directory. I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to export body, glass, and glass 2. So I'm going to go ahead and click export. And take a little bit of time because of all those UV tiles. There's quite a lot of actual materials. So here they all are, and you'll notice that they have numbers like 1001, 1002, etc. Okay, so we're going to come over to Blender now and I'm in the shading tab and I'm going to click on the body. And right now all I've got is my principal BSDF and my material uh, output node. Normally you would select the principal BSDF and go shift control T. And that would bring up your explorer and you would search for your textures and then you would click principal texture setup. But with UDIMS you have to do it manually, but it's not that hard. You're going to go texture, image texture. Remember we're on the body here and open up I saved it there, body, base color, and you want to look for the lowest number uh, in the sequence. So you see this one says uh, body, base color, 1002, and then three, four. There's no 1001, there's no 1005. So I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna drag the color in. And that's already gonna put my base color stuff on there. You'll notice it says Unim tiles. It's recognized that it's a sequence of images. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the metallic. So I'm going to take this and shift D to duplicate it. And I'm going to search for body metallic, the first one in the sequence, which happens to be 1002. But switch the color space to non-color and plug that into metallic. And I'm not sure there was actually any information there, but we'll go ahead and do it. Now I'm going to do roughness, so I'm just going to copy that down. And... I'm going to find my body roughness. There's the first one there. Switch to non-color. That should give it a little bit of a shine when I plug that in. There, you see that? Okay, so we got roughness going on in there. Let's hide that for now. And I've got some color on the inside. Let's go back to body. And now I need some height information. These are looking well, a little bit flat. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to use normal. I'm going to use height. So shift D to duplicate. Pull it out a little bit because I'm going to do a vector bump there. Base color height, the first one is 1002, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to use non color data, and yeah, and then I'm going to add a, a vector bump, color into height, and then the normal into normal. And now I have that depth information there. So that's it for the body. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to turn on ambient occlusion. I often set mine as 0 0.5 and 2 here just for a little bit more. Ambient occlusion, I want bloom, I want screen space reflections, and I want to click on refraction and uncheck half res. So this is what we have so far. Okay, good. Let's do the glass now. Click on that. It's already labeled. I got my principal BSDF. And I'm going to go ahead and do the glass. So. First of all is base color, so it's come all the way down. This is glass, just regular glass. Base color does start at 1001, so that's good. I'll plug that into here. And I'm going to use, actually, sometimes it doesn't recognize that it's UDIMS, and that's fine. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll do the other ones as well. We're going to do metallic. So this is glass metallic 1001, non-color 
I'll make sure that says UDIMS. Not sure why it's not registering, but uh, that's okay. So I've got that, I've got metallic in there, and I'm gonna do roughness down here. Okay, so glass, regular glass, roughness, there it is, 1001 for the roughness. That could come in there. And I'll use non-color. Image sequence. Oh. Udim tiles. There it is, nice and shiny, but we cannot see through it. So we need to do the opacity stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out. And I'm going to add a mix shader. And I'm going to add another shader, which is a transparent. That is going to connect to the bottom. Like that. And then I want that opacity map that we created, image texture. All right, so back to the textures and this opacity. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna plug that in there. This one does say that. Still not see-through, although relatively shiny. Come over to the material itself. Okay, the glass material, scroll down. Change this to alpha blend. And I might uh, do backface culling, and I might, and I'll do screen space uh, refraction. And I now have my glass on there as well. All right, and then what I set for this is um, on the emissive. I think I'm just going to use uh, this down here. All right, I can set this to you know like a green color if I want, and set that to like. You know, maybe 40 or yeah we'll, we'll start with that and we'll bring back the glass and this way I again I have I have control over uh, over the color Where, where's that emission there all right if I want to change that I can do that Okay, so that is just with the, you know, the Blender's default HDRI in the background. All right, I'm not going to render this, but it's, at least it shows you how you can get the materials in there uh, and working. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.